Oh, it's like magic. Look at this from Ariel. Speaking of magic, she's been throwing fantastic, and that is why they're sitting here in this third place match. Fantastic, I don't even think is the word. Uh, she's been doing more, way more than what her average uh, says. Let me ask you a coincidence. All right. There have been two female players that have consistently played, or at least played at least once, in the no cap doubles in the evening in this room with all of the other men uh, that played in the CSI, right, or CDI. Uh, Ariel Feist. Can I guess the other one? Yep. Cheyenne Richards. Richards. Good job. Um, you're absolutely correct, and they're right now at the third place match, and then the other one's in the king seat. Is that a coincidence, or yes. did the earlier nights prepare them for this? Uh, uh, coincidence. Okay. <laughs> oh, no. Whew. Yeah, just short on all three of those darts, just kind of short on them. Short armed them. Yeah. You know what I mean. Yeah, I gotcha. Olivia Terry has been on fire. She continues it. As Sean would say, she's been in fuego. Yes, me in an entire language. Did I say it right? Yeah, in fuego. Okay. This is going to be a <clears throat> good match. Uh, a rematch of the one loss. Yeah, they yes. played early. Yeah, right? Absolutely. Yeah, where uh, Gates and Ariel... Uh, Got the best of them. Got the best of them in that one. Same exact four bat, race to two. You just expect it to go to the last decider because it definitely just should. And then you expect Steve and Olivia to win it, so that it goes to one more leg on this side. And then we're going to go for the triple dip. Who loves a triple dip? I'll I can you. tell you two players that do. Go for it. No, I, I could. I, I'm not going to. I just said I could. No, I'm just kidding. Rick Hensy and Tyler Hensy, uh, they love a triple dip. Are those are those two related? Okay, Sean. All right, Olivia <laughs> Terry. <laughs> they are father and son. Yeah, smart close after yep. the first two were a little wayward. Uh, Gates is going to go to the 17 to start. Uh, he wants that triple. Never gets that. So, Porky, do you steal the 17s or do you go 18s first? I steal the 17s. I actually because I want at least five here. Yeah, at least five 17s. He's gonna look up at the 18, which is surprising by in, in my. Uh, that's very surprising to be honest with you. His caliber. Yeah, and I'm surprised. I bet he missed because after the first start when he missed, he realized or said to himself, well, that was the wrong decision. <laughs> I tried to hit the safe shot there and do what was smart. It's kind of like taking a four iron off the tee when you know you need to and then still hooking it into the rough. That's a great golf analogy. Uh, I am uh, an okay golfer, so. I didn't care about how good you were at golf as long as you understood the analogy. That was really the important part there. Well, then I did. I, I did understand <laughs> the analogy. Well, then ding, ding, ding. <laughs> Olivia is going to look to bang in a seven mark here. And she Gets does. In. Great darts from Olivia Terry. Uh, Gates hasn't hit two triples in a turn yet, so I expect it to be a nine mark or a seven. Or a six. Or, or a four. four. Uh, so four... Two, Man, so good. Four, two, four. It's, it's his last three turns. And that's why Porky and Olivia have the great chance to steal here in leg number one. That is correct. Better than a great chance. And there Pretty is, much going to happen. Yeah, that's, that's the nine mark that was needed. Uh, and uh, just to let you know, he didn't realize he threw that yellow dart when, uh, when they lost. Well, did I you said, tell him? Well, I said, uh, Porkster, do you know why you <laughs> lost that leg? He said, I didn't throw the yellow dart. I said, you did. He said, no. Yep. He, I said, yes. He's like, well, that won't happen again. Yeah, he threw it right at the start. So, um, yeah. He actually asked, did I hit a triple with it? I said, no. Mm. 
Just a little lazy on that one, but uh, a pretty comfortable lead here. Gates can't get ahead and shut him down, so so that's that's important. Not bad. Close first, or, or do you yeah, have you, the talent level to go 15s first? No, you close first. Make sure you close, and then go 18. Wow. Yeah, that's uh. So so again, we're going. We're getting scrappy, aren't we? Yeah, and Ariel more than a good opportunity to take control. Needs the triple. Not going to get that. She leaned forward more and more as she threw all three of those darts. More determined to hit the triple. Oh. She's making the, she's, oh, look at this. It was the right shot, and uh, you've seen Porky in the background point up, and uh, Gates and Ariel are going to escape this leg. Oh, uh, yeah, because Gates. Yeah, Gates hasn't hit a really good Gates shot yet. Punishment. There right it there. is. <laughs> Gives a fist bump. That's a that's a sarcastic fist bump. Like I know, but yeah. it's still it, at least it finally happened. Yeah, the timing. Absolutely it correctly. Like finally two triples. Yeah. Shot at the fifteen. Yeah. And double ball. Hopefully, that would have been you know the right shot. Four balls to three. Uh, the way she's playing. She's definitely capable of taking this game out. Oh, for sure. Uh, but Gates is just obviously looking for at least one or two here. Oh, wow. Great dart. Oh! Ooh. Can Olivia Terry take out four bulls? She can. And you've seen it often to where uh, a dart is missed barely, and then they jump on the opportunity. One more. No! Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Tense moments. Tense moments. one nothing, Leonard and Ariel. <laughs> yeah, the Gates isn't missing this. And look at that. That's probably one of the lowest averages you'll see from him. Uh, yeah, 4.64. 4. Gets the job done. It does. Oh, my gosh. Can Olivia respond from something like that? Look at her. She's all the way in the back. She's She's not. Yeah, she's not happy at all. Look. So she'll, she'll shake it off, but, uh, man, does that play in your mind? That would me. Yeah. Wow. Well, but I'm weak. Boom goes the dynamite there for Steve Hilger to get us started. Uh, that will settle me down, though, for my partner to come right back out firing like that. You're absolutely right. But what you expect, oh, look, yep. I like that. Absolutely love it. Let's see how Olivia responds here. This is... This is what's uh, the big shot. Good darts. Yeah. Solid darts. Four is fine. Four is more than fine. No, four is fine. <laughs> four is great in that situation. Putting a lot of pressure on Ariel. Not bad. Not bad at all. Porkster, going to go 21st? Think he's going to go 21st? No. no. Drills the 19, 17, and then right to the 18. He never even looked at the 20s. Gets himself a nice 7 mark. He did not, but I would have looked at the 20 because Gates can take the point lead at any point in time when he's up, like he does there. Yeah. And, you know, it puts a little more pressure on your partner. Uh, Olivia. So, if I'm Olivia, I just uh, calmly just throw a bunch of 20s. Oh, no. That is three in the bed on the fives. Fatigue playing a role here, Sean? It, probably. Uh, and I mean that... Just because it seems like it, I think the situation's playing a little bit of a role into it. Uh, I think that 
just having to focus for so long in every single leg that requires that intense focus to get to this point, um, there's it's it's hard. Yeah, it is hard, and it's uh these moments. I know I know they know what they're playing for, so yeah. uh, it makes it even tougher. And we mentioned both we mentioned reasons on both sides on why there's pressure on both players. Uh, if you're the better player, the pressure is on you to perform, and you believe that if you lose, it's your fault. And if you're the worst or the lower level or lower average player, same situation. You, if you lose, you know it's your fault because if you got that person, you should be able to win with that person. And it's just a, it's a lot of extra pressure. Yeah, this it format is. does that. Yep, it is, and uh, you, you touched on basically everything. Uh, as Ariel needs a triple, uh, just a one mark there. All right, it's now. You gotta stop playing around, giving soldier opportunities to do something crazy and great, because he will eventually. He, yeah, eventually. You know, uh, against the top players, you you should be thinking that way. You know, there's gonna be a moment, a time that they're gonna hit that big nine or big seven. Yep. And uh, you. You have to just make sure you're ahead enough to withstand that. Well, here's Soldier. Going to go bull. Yeah, he does that a lot. Just skips the 15s and 16s. You know, obviously 50 more than 48 and 45. Uh, but, you know, the triple is... Triple's there. He can just bang in a nine. And Olivia's just going to try and close the 16s and 15s. Yeah, smart. Yeah, last start goes back to point, and that's not bad either. It makes it so that even six bulls don't give you the point lead. I don't know if she even goes bulls, to be honest with you. Just kind of wants, uh, yeah, wants her to go 16s and 15s, where Gates is going to go bulls yeah. again. So, because Leonard expects to hit at least a 25 every time. Yeah, absolutely. At least three bulls every time for, for Gates. But um, he's seven behind, so, uh, you know, now he's uh, impossible behind. Yes. Yes, the last time we saw an impossibility happen, it happened against Leonard Gates. Yes, it did. Yes, it did. But uh, who doesn't love a six bull? Leonard. <laughs> uh, he loves five. <laughs> he gives a fist bump because he knows. Man, just just in time to still lose the leg. Yeah, it's gonna be, it's practice for the court. There right? you go, practice for the court. But we've seen crazier things happen, mm. Sean, haven't we? Well, what happened? The last time here? he said something was impossible, the impossible happened. What happens here if Ariel hits three? Just puts more pressure. Porky still wins in the next round. No, he doesn't, because he's not even going to shoot it. That's true. Oh, well, only two. She gets a little quick on dart three, and it tends to not be a bad dart just to miss barely. That one was a little bit higher than she wanted it to You're be. You're right. I would have liked her to shut the 16 down, okay. because if Porky goes bull, bull, miss, Gates would have had a shot. He's not going to. Bull, bull, bull for a Porky. Let's go to the last leg decider. If... Steve and Olivia win, we go to another last leg decider. If Leonard and Ariel win, we go to the finals where Bob and Cheyenne are waiting. You know who Bob and Cheyenne are rooting for? Uh, absolutely I do. <laughs> Steve and Olivia. Steve and Olivia. At least in this leg. Yeah. In the next leg, they don't care anymore. Yeah, absolutely. Porky Point says he's <laughs> got it because his dart's in the black. It's, uh, exactly, exactly. Closer to the triple. No, I mean, it's it's common sense. So here we go. Let's get it started. Sean, this event has been absolutely top-notch. This event's been everything it's supposed to be. Leonard Gates doing everything he's supposed to do. And how about the entire week? TOC is phenomenal. There's been so many opportunities for so much money to be won. I have not talked to a single person who's had a negative experience um, this entire week. Yeah, it's been uh, 
I, I haven't I haven't seen anyone not have uh, have a good time. Yeah. Uh, enjoying the darts, enjoying the company, uh, just just having fun with the game. And on top of that, you can win thousands of dollars. Yeah, and you have a good opportunity to, especially with that supercharger. Um, this is why this is so popular of a uh, league with PPD and, and everything that they do. It's because they really do take care of the players, and this tournament is second to none. And we still have a lot of le of action left tomorrow morning. The elite finale on the men's and se women's side, they pay f play for $10,000 a piece. 10 yeah. grand a piece. Danny yeah, Baggish. It's, it's just a lot of money to be paid out. This is why you're going to retire from commentary at PPD next year. This is exactly <laughs> why I'm retiring from commentating for PPD next year. It's hard to be on uh, uh, or hard to turn that up. Uh, Pass that up. I'm sorry. It's hard to pass that up uh, for next year, but I don't know. We'll see. I'm kind of liking this commentary gig, and uh, well, it's been great. You're in a different position than Will and I are. Uh, we don't have to worry about the opportunity to pass it up because uh, we wouldn't be in the elite finale. Um, we wouldn't be in the master finale or the pro finale. I would be in uh, level 18 there, maybe boards one through 25 or so and there's nothing wrong with that but i will make more money sitting back here even if that was ten dollars uh, for the entire time i was here versus whatever everyone else is going to win what if there was a an event that you you will and myself could play in level 12 triples i would not bring you guys down to level 12 we would be in the no cap and i'd feel pretty good about that <laughs> i would not feel good about that. you wouldn't dude i would take you you guys in a no cap all day long Oh, give me three other players. Let's go. Let's do this. Stop it. You guys just don't think that I'm going to rise to that occasion. And guess what? I probably won't. But wouldn't it be cool if I did? I could, Sean, be, the, I could be the new Tyler Henze. Uh, you're not. First of all, no one can be the new Tyler Henze because Tyler Henze is a monster. I would, will stay that I would way. cut off my left hand to be a Tyler Henze. Well, you know what? You could be a Tyler Henze 2.0. And uh, but he's he's still gonna do it better. Uh, How about Olivia Terry, OT from the TO, throwing in a big nine. Boom goes the Toledian. Nope. Dang. <laughs> Who's their mascot? Toledo. Just so you know. Boom goes the rocket. That's all right. If her dark nickname was the rocket, that'd be really good. Oh. Gates' uh, nickname isn't the Texan, and you told me to say Boom goes the Texan. I didn't tell you to do anything with Booms. You're taking it upon yourself uh, because it's fun. Anyways. I do also Good think five out. mark by uh, Porky there. Gets I'm the point lead and uh, is up 10 points uh, against three wedges. You have to plan out the Booms when it's something different than Dynamite and make sure that it actually sounds good before you do it. Okay. You can't just, like, test it out live with what you say. So... It takes some finesse. But here we go. Olivia Terry. 15s. 16s. That's what I meant. Nine them last time. Only three this time. And Soldier's going to lock down the 16s. Maybe point dart three or bull first. Goodbye 16s on dart three. So when, when Ariel hit the nine mark, do I say... Boom goes the mermaid. Nope. And uh, I hope she punches you. When no, you mermaid. See it. Like the no, I get it. Oh, I Disney. get it. Uh, listen, we all can't be yeah, funny. Yeah, you have kids, Sean. We all can't be funny. Well, no one said you were funny. <laughs> <laughs> so you're right. We all. Uh, okay, anyways. Did you hear everyone laugh this morning? They're, no, but I heard everyone laugh last night. So Ariel? <laughs> Needs two bowls to move on to the finals. Where if anyone's going to have a shot to triple dip, it's going to be Leonard Gates with uh, only one loss. That's correct. And uh, do you feel like... Olivia's going to keep this going for a hot minute. See, now there's two marks needed. Yeah, but it hasn't, been a, it hasn't been a minute yet, and I think the game is over. Oh, hot minute. That's a quick minute. Oh, yeah, it is. It is a quick minute. 
And it's going to be Leonard Gates and Ariel going to the but finals. You, if he misses that, though, he gives Steve Hilger winning darts in his hand. That's, uh, right. I don't know if I like that move for the future. Yeah, he hit it, but you never know. 